Hey everyone, hope all is well. I've been very emotional the last few weeks. Many of you will know that it has been a dream of mine for 12 years and an ambition for eight to launch my very own podcast show. Well, I'm excited to say that despite my absence the last eight months, I've been working very hard behind the scenes and on November 12th, not long to go now, you will be seeing on this channel episode one of a brand new podcast show called The Quest for Global Empathy. Built a studio near my home. We've got really great equipment. The sound is amazing, even better than this microphone, which I thought was really good. And I have two hour conversations with guests in each episode where we discuss their life experiences, what it's taught them and what it can teach us about the human condition. We just roll the camera and see where the conversation takes us. Four episodes have been done which are going to be launched monthly and this has all been made possible thanks to the Creators for Change initiative and then at the beginning of this year they asked me to become their UK ambassador which was such a humbling uh, offer to receive and so I've been working really hard behind the scenes since February uh, on this project and I can't wait to show you it. I have not been this excited for a project since Stickade. Um, and that's saying quite a lot. Four episodes have been done, and then beyond that, it's all a question of whether or not we can make it sustainable. I don't want this podcast to have 10 minutes worth of sponsors at the beginning. I want it to be grassroots funded, and so I have relaunched my Patreon page today with just two tiers. One is for anyone that just wishes to donate, for as little as one dollar a month but there's this second tier which will be the absolute lifeblood and it's called founding supporters there are only a hundred slots it costs ten dollars a month if you become one after your second month you'll get a limited edition shirt and the reason this tier is very important is because for every person that becomes one that represents one percent of our target if a hundred people become a founding supporter um firstly i'm gonna cry uh <laughs> secondly it means that the show is self-sustaining and that we will keep making these episodes. And with everything I've spoken about through video blogging the last 12 years, you'll see that this is such a great amalgamation of everything that um, I believe in. So yeah, please go to patreon.com forward slash Miles Dyer. If you want to tune into the podcast, just make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. The full two hour episode will be put up here. And if you want to listen to the audio version, um, iTunes and Google Play will have it then as well. I just can't wait. Now for a life update about why I'm feeling so alive right now and it's not only because of the podcast which of course I'm very excited about. The past five years have been so incredibly difficult for me after having a head injury which made my life spiral out of control and although I was trying to make regular videos again I decided to take a really long break. Well this year has given me good news after good news but I'm not gonna lie every time some good news came up I was cautious and I didn't want to get complacent. Progress can take a long time. It doesn't go in a straight line. But I know as of this month, I'm in a whole new place in my life and I feel so alive and actually happy for the first time in years. And it's not to say I haven't had instances of happiness before, but I actually feel it in my blood, to the tips of my fingers, to my toes. I constantly feel alive and engaged. So as I already mentioned at the beginning of the year, YouTube asked me to become their UK ambassador for Creates for Change. I got to tour the UK speaking at schools on digital citizenship. But it even led to things like going to Brussels to speak to the UN Secretary General's Youth Envoy, which was an awesome conversation. I'll link it in the description if you'd like to check it out. I started a new batch of therapy about two months ago. I've been making huge progress. I have the best therapist I could ever possibly have wanted. She's very modern in her approach so she does cognitive behavioral therapy but also mindfulness and compassion therapy really interesting components which um, will no doubt inform uh, future um, mental health and well-being videos I do on this channel I finally launched my own website after years of wanting to get my act together but the reason I think I was able to do it now was because I found this new inner confidence I was able to get a sense of my personal brand, if I can put it that way, a real sense of who I am, which of course I lost sight of after my head injury because I kept thinking about where would I be if it hadn't have happened? So milesdyer.com, check it out and let me know your thoughts. I'm finally becoming active with my band again. A music video that I filmed and directed will be coming out soon. It's all about new beginnings and bouncing back from adversity. So quite poetic considering the situation. As of last week, I finally received the legal settlement money for my head injury. It goes without saying really that I would rather have my health 
um, then have gone down this path and actually a few years into the legal proceedings I felt like the money was not for the injury anymore but for all the hassle that comes with it. I've never cashed a cheque so fast in my life but it's given me a new beginning because um, I've been able to pay debts that I developed during all my mental health issues. I've paid off my student loan. I've just bought a new car. It's crazy to think that my current car, I've had it for almost as long as I've been doing videos. So I'm gonna be sad to say goodbye to it. And when I got the check, I had a contract I had to sign to say that in seven years, the legal documents could be destroyed because they'll no longer be needed. And just ticking that box and signing it was very impactful because for me, it was like saying, yes, this is finally over. I can move on and I'm getting chills as I say this. For the first time in about eight years, I finally feel that I'm no longer trying to play catch up with my past and instead I can actually build into my future. And when I've been having therapy, it's come out that I suppress a lot of emotions, which I found bizarre because I've always been quite in touch with emotions, I thought, but I realized, although I was aware of emotions, I never fully engaged with them. And it was a form of me trying to protect myself. And I think that's one of the reasons why I started to struggle making videos because I lost sight of why I do this in the first place. And so I don't really wanna ramble on anymore because I think what comes next is the podcast and your response to it and whether or not we can make it sustainable. I just need a hundred supporters, friends, family, viewers, just a hundred of you to become a founding supporter of the quest for global empathy. And then, oh, seriously, it's gonna be the best thing ever. <laughs> and so I think I'm just gonna finish off with Thanks, thank you to everyone. Over the years, I've received so many letters, emails, um, and just comments from you saying how I've had a positive impact on your life. And I've always mentioned inspiration is bi-directional. You saying that I inspire you inspires me to keep going. And so this really does feel like a new chapter. And so I'd just like to end by reading the list of patrons that have supported me these past two years. Some of them are still supporting me, um, some of them I hope will come back, but I'm so, so grateful. Rish, Lisa, Nomi, Lokan, Lisa Ann, Charlotte Chambers, Martin Grondin, Dave Fraser, Sarah, George, Cheryl Klingenberg, Luke Stokes, Callum King, Amanda Follett, Hessa Almaglauf, ASMR Pillow, Aidan Phoenix, Thomas Wetherill, Will Sweeney, Pamela, Arkenbelt, well you're starting to test me now, Nina Jum, Suzanne E. Shaley, Utopia42, Michael Sturm, Lindsay Frey, Colin Matthew, Trevino O'Dell, Emily Sinclair, Juzo Vilmunen, Heather Snitch, Annette Clearly, Bryson Mills, Nikki Sanriza, Lisa Jackson, Luke Chuniard, Amanda Walters, Bengu Atama, Danny McDowell, Michael James, Peter Bean, Rusty Reed, Emma Eileen Lauter, Esther Lanos, Steve Cole, Kimberly Kalanick, Martin Bigger, Dan, Eileen, Hiram Patel, Colin, Sterlin, Angela Antonio, Jess Aldrich, Rosa Cooper Davies, Timothy Bassett, Katie Scheller, James Paris, Michelle Dyer, Tony Bain, Jennifer Canal, Greg Pursley, Victor Hall, Chris, mm. Sheila Price, Stoudman, Jay Kenneth, Glenn Rain, Glenn Kassenberg, Leah Rose, Molly McKernany, Peter Young, Anna Tomasic, I know I've got that wrong, I apologise, Matthew Palka, Duku Weidemer, That Eddie Hex, Rebecca Sands, Josh Polterak, Judith Silverstein, Marilyn Bassano, Simon Jones, Vicky Geiger, Kelly Parish, Pal Ujvarossi, Rob McIntyre, Camille Galino, Reggie Grace, Daniel Miller, Barbara Smith, Hannah Murray, Jake Harvey, Joe Payne, Robert Muller, Kate Latz, Jean Todd, Susan Straub, Tiffany Ramey, Adina Cohen, Laurie Henriquez, Anya Page, Mark Hilton, Carrie Hughes, Annie Berkeley, James Wiles, Martha Egan, Zoe Nova, Fleur Lewis, Mr. Tog, Sue Winspear, Bill Hansen, Jack Waterhouse, Vicky Wrangle, Calvin Boer, Diane Nutson, Veronica Egan, Charlotte Robinson, Maurice Perry, Tom Stedman, Alice Hazel, Francis Jones, Astrid Nordness, Reese Dyer, thanks brother, Thomas Ito, Sarah White, Stephen Reynolds, John Ellis, Kyle Hall, Sammy David, Duncan Sakura, Carrie Dyer, Dylan RNC, Emma Boland, Jason Small, Jeffrey Phillips, Maddie Alessi, Krish, Valerie Stewart, Thomas Edward Cowell, Bradley Jackson, Patricia McDermott, Pulak Kumar, Dyer Legion, and Sally Marston. Thank you all. And to everyone else out there, whether you just watch my videos, you comment or send me messages, it all adds to me and my life and the things I'm doing. And it's because of you that I am where I am today. 
uh, about to embark on this really, really exciting journey or quest even uh, for global empathy. So with all that said, I love you all and uh, I'll see you on November 12th. Adios till next time.